Hello people, welcome back. This question is from gate exam of 2016 set 2. It is for 2 marks. Just have a look at the statement once, then I'll explain it. They are saying, consider a 128 into 10 raised to the power 3 bits per second satellite communication link with one-way propagation delay of 150 milliseconds. Selective retransmission bracket repeat protocol is used on this link to send data with a frame size of 1 KB. Neglect the transmission time of acknowledgement. The minimum number of bits required for the sequence number field to achieve 100% utilization is. Okay. So we need to find out the minimum number of bits in sequence number field. For that, first we need to know how many minimum number of sequence numbers are required. So have a look. Minimum sequence numbers depend on sender window size and the receiver window size. So the minimum number of sequence numbers is sender window size plus receiver window size. That means we need at least these many sequence numbers. Now they are also saying that we are using SR protocol, selective repeat or selective retransmission. In case of SR protocol, sender window size and receiver window size is equal. That means minimum sequence numbers are 2 times W. Say the sender window size is W, which is also equal to receiver window size. So WS is equal to WR is equal to W, say. Now we need to determine what is the value of this W for finding out minimum sequence numbers. Okay. They are also saying we want 100% utilization. That is the link utilization must be 100%. That means they are talking about 100% efficiency or which is equal to 1. 100% can be written as 1. Okay, So the efficiency must be 1. You already know that value of efficiency can lie between 0 to 1. So for 100% efficiency in case of sliding window protocol, the condition is sender window size must be equal to 1 plus 2a. Okay. And because we are using SR type of sliding window protocol, so obviously receiver window size will also be equal to 1 plus 2a because both of these are equal. Okay. I hope you know all this stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and find out the value of 1 plus 2a. Value of a is Propagation delay divided by transmission delay. Propagation delay is directly given in the question, which is 150 milliseconds, and this is one way propagation delay. Anyways, in formula also, we require one way propagation delay only. Okay, so don't multiply it by two, it is just there to confuse you. Let us substitute this value 1 plus 2 into 150 milliseconds divided by the transmission delay. So we need to determine what is the value of TT. Transmission delay is defined as length of packet divided by the available bandwidth. Length of packet is 1 KB. That means 1024 bytes. Okay. And bandwidth is 128 into 10 raised to the power 3 bits per second. So we also need to make the units equal. That means let us convert these bytes into bits. This will be into 8 bits. Okay. Divided by 128 into 10 raised to the power 3 bits per second. Bits and bits will be cancelled. Per second can be simply written as seconds because it is in denominator. Okay. So you can see this is value of transmission delay. It is a delay and hence unit needs to be equal to seconds. So units are correct. Now you can see this will be 8 ones are and 8 sixteens are. 2 raised to the power 10 divided by 2 raised to the power 4. This will be equal to 2 raised to the power 6. That means 64. 16 ones are 16 into 64 will be 1024. Okay. So let us just substitute this value. It is 
टेन क्यूब डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटी फोर सेकेंड ओके सी वी रिक्वायर द वैल्यू ऑफ वन बाई टी टी दैट विल बी टेन क्यूब डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटी फोर सेकेंड ना यू कैन सी एम कैन बी कैंसल्ड विद टेन क्यूब बिकॉज वैल्यू ऑफ एम और मिली इज टेन रेज टू दावर थ्री sorry it's 10 raised to the power minus 3 that is how i am cancelling it with 10 raised to the power plus 3 okay this is 10 raised to the power minus 3 seconds and anyway second and second will also get cancelled so there is no unit for this number and that is actually correct because 1 plus 2a is the number of packets that sender will send without getting any acknowledgement or the sender window size Window size will just be a number. We don't need any units of window size. Okay. So sender window size is this, which comes out to be equal to one plus two into one fifty divided by sixty four. So one fifty divided by sixty four is two point three four something. Let us just write two point three, and this is equal to. 4.6 plus 1, which is 5.6. So 1 plus 2a comes out to be 5.6. In case of sliding window protocol, if you need 100% utilization, the value of sender window size must be 1 plus 2a. That means this much. Okay. Sliding window protocol can be of two types: go back end or SR. Here we are implementing SR. In SR, sender window size and receiver window size is equal, so both of these will be equal to 5.6 only. Okay, so sender window size is 5.6, receiver window size is also 5.6. Now, actually, sending 5.6 packets means you will require six sequence numbers for one side. Okay, see, the sender is sending five complete packets. and some part of next packet is also sent that next packet has to be numbered right so it will consume next sequence number also so one sequence five sequence numbers is consumed are consumed for these five next one is consumed here okay so six sequence numbers will be required at the sender side and more six sequence numbers will be required for distinction at the receiver side so this comes out to be 6 plus 6 that is 12 sequence numbers are required and uh, log 12 to the base 2 will be 4 so this is 4 that means you require 4 bits in uh, that sequence number field okay 